Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I appreciate the feedback I've got over this week's tune-ups. Many of you are saying they're some of the best ones I've done. Well, I'm not really scoring them. I'm just putting information out there that I hear that you want to hear and I'm doing the best I can to create information that's going to actually work for you. Through today's tune-ups, or this week's tune-ups, today I want to talk about a couple of things that came up over the last couple of days from emails I received regarding taking care of yourself. So we'll just kind of continue that theme for today since it is Friday and today is a great day to really work on that over the weekend. When we take care of ourselves, it's not selfish. When we take care of ourselves, there's a natural thing that happens with some human beings developed primarily in the way they were raised or the way they were uh, taught by their parents and even relatives and teachers that if you like yourself, if you take care of yourself, or if you want something for yourself, that is selfish. That is not true. Back to what I was saying yesterday, if you don't take care of yourself, many of us have families, many of us are supervisors and jobs, many of us have huge responsibilities financially, there's a lot of people relying on us, some of us uh, are wealthy, and a lot of people think that we just are basking in money. However, because we are wealthy, there's a huge responsibility that comes with that because you're taking care of a lot of people. You're responsible for a lot of jobs and maybe even supporting much of your family because you're the one that were, was able to break through the glass barrier and actually do something with your life that was financially successful. And then maybe some of you aren't so wealthy and there's just not enough money to go around. If you don't take care of yourself, everything around you is going to start breaking down. You may have already noticed that with the stress and the tension that we get during times like this. I have to inform you though, times like this are not going away. We've got to acclimate ourselves to the pressure we're under right now and kind of make that normal. You know, we can say those were the good old days, but you know what, I really believe some of the good old days are right ahead of us. Some of the best days we have are in front of us. If we're not okay to survive this, if we're completely beaten down, not taking care of ourselves, we're not going to make it. I mean, that sounds cold and harsh, but it's true. So if you feel guilty because maybe you want to go on a vacation, or maybe you take a couple of days off, or maybe even a week off, or maybe you get in a car and travel around and go places you've always wanted to go, that's a good thing. If somebody doesn't like it, that's pretty much their business. It has nothing to do with you. I have this thing that I say, and I believe it, and I think it's really true that what other people think of you is none of your business. You have no control over it anyway. There's only a couple of things you're in control of. That's the attitude you have towards the things that come to you in your life and what you decide to do about those things. That's the only two things you really are in control of and your thoughts. So today, what I want you to do is get rid of guilt. Guilt is a useless emotion that's kind of politically incorrect in really becoming fulfilled within yourself. If somebody is saying that you ought to, you should do this, you need to do this, remember those are virus words. Those words are designed to create a viral thinking in our mind to get us to be manipulated into doing things and failing at things. Really pay attention to the virus words. Those words are why, try, need, but, should, don't, and hope. And remember, if you want to take care of yourself, that's the first foundation for everything in your life. Because if you break down, everything that's on top of that will also break down. If you're the patriarch or matriarch of your family, and you're the foundation of that, it's important for you to take time off to enjoy yourself. And if some of those people think, wow, they're really indulgent, they shouldn't be doing that. That's one of those virus words. Just let that roll off you like water off a duck's back and rejuvenate yourself so you can come back strong and hold up to the pressures and the responsibilities that you have. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to want things. It's okay to require time. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to like yourself. So you have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to talking to you on Monday. And if you haven't signed up for our cruise yet, I want you to come along. So let's get going on this. Let's have some fun. There's a few spots left and I want you to get on that. I want to meet you personally. I want to have some fun with you on this beautiful Alaskan cruise next spring. And we're going to have a great time. 
So get signed up. The number's right here on this particular tune-up at the end of it and also on our website. And look at the details. You'll be surprised at what we're going to offer. And I'm looking forward to doing these seminars with you. So until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary weekend. Bye-bye.